Hey, Rise Church, Rise Kids. Thank you for joining me for another evening with story time with Rise Kids. We have been reading out of this amazing book, Indescribable, by Louis Giglio. I've really been enjoying this. I've been having a blast. If you guys are just tuning in, we these last few days or last few uh, weeks, we've been reading from this amazing book at 8 p.m. So if you want to bring your kids along and uh, just have them be right before they go to bed and maybe come in and learn about God and just our interesting creator, indescribable creator, you will be reading this every night during the week at 8 p.m. You won't want to miss it. I'm just going to wait a little bit here uh, for more people to tune in. If you guys just want to wave hi, I actually have my laptop right here. So if you have any questions that you might want to ask, you can ask them right here. I'll be able to see it, hopefully, at least. <laughs> and uh, that way, um, you know, I, I can answer some questions your kids might have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here real soon. Oh, let me see if I can. Let's mute that. But uh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, today's story is going to be Dinosaur Rock. We're going to learn about dinosaurs today. I'm really excited about this. Uh, if you guys didn't know, my great uncle was actually a paleontologist. And he is world renowned too. Which is, he's in a lot of textbooks. That's an interesting fact about my family. I uh, kind of grew up not knowing what he did. But he'd always show me rocks when we'd go and visit. So... Today, we'll be learning about dinosaurs. Uh, the verse of the day is, love each other. You must love each other as I have loved you. All because all people will know that you are my fathers if you love each other. That's found in John 13, 34 through 35. Not all rocks are just rocks. Some are actually fossils, rocks with the imprints of ancient animals or plants left in them. You see, when animals die, its body quickly decays and disappears most of the time. But if an animal dies in a watery area, its body might sink into mud or be quickly covered with muddy soil. When this happens, the soft part of the animal's body like its skin, its internal organs, decompose. But the hard parts, like your teeth, uh, your bones, uh, are preserved. Over a long period of time, sedimentary rocks form around these animals' remains, thereby forming fossils. Sedimentary rocks form when small bits of rocks, shells, or bones cement together. Plants, animal footprints, burrows, and even their poop ugh, can all become fossils. That's gross. Hey, how you doing, uh, Zach and... Oh, I think I read that right, right? Aries? Yep. Scientists called paleontologists study fossils and are able to learn a lot about ancient plants and animals by studying what they've left behind in the rocks. Without fossils, we wouldn't even know dinosaurs existed. Did you know that you also leave fossils? What? Or at least impressions behind wherever you go? Okay, so we're really not talking about rocks. Instead, you leave impressions on people's hearts by what you do and say and the way you make people feel. Jesus said you'll be able to tell which people belong to him by the love and kindness they show to others. So do you make people feel good when they're around you? Or do they run from you as if you were a T-Rex? Just as scientists learn about dinosaurs from the fossil impressions they leave behind, people learn about Jesus from the impressions his 
people leave behind. That's you, that's your mom, that's your sister, that's your brother, that's everybody that are around you. Make sure your fossils are ones the rock, that's Jesus, would be proud of. Guys, I, I chose this one specifically because I wanted to challenge you. If, you. if you kids are listening in right now, I want you to turn to your parents and give them a big old hug. Show them the love of Jesus. Show your sister the love of Jesus. We're going to give hugs all day or all night. And uh, then I'll read some scientific facts for you before we close out. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see who's all joining in. We got Brendan. Hi, Brendan. What else we got? We got Mason. What's up, Mason? Hi. You guys tuned in a little bit earlier. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys some pictures here too, as you guys can see. Look, he's digging up a dinosaur. And then right here, we got some scientific facts. Let's be amazed today. Imagine an animal about the size of a squirrel with a big, soft, bushy tail. Okay. Now imagine it with big eyes and a longer snout and fangs. That's exactly what scientists think they found in some fossils collected in Argentina. And they're calling this extinct creature the saber-toothed squirrel. What? So really long and it looks like a squirrel? That's so cool. Yeah. You might actually be able to find some fossils in your backyard. I'm not telling you to go uh, dig up a bunch of holes, but they're all over. And uh, this is probably just a cool, I think this is just a cool story. And as you guys are with your parents or with your siblings, always remember that you leave an impression. And we want to leave a Jesus impression on their hearts. Don't forget to leave a Jesus impression impression on people. Let's close it out. You guys bow your heads. Lord, teach me to love others as you have loved me. Let the fossil impressions I leave behind be the ones that make people want to learn more about you. God, and I just thank you for who you called us, your people, to do. That you've called us to go around and be a light on to this world. That we, the, the impressions we leave on people can leave a lasting impression. We want to show your love because you have showed love to us. Help us show your love today, tomorrow, the next day, and for the rest of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining in. I love reading these books. I can't wait for the next time I get to read this again. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Goodbye.